to Science with Sarah. We are making black carbon sugar snakes. Obviously, we're dealing with fire, so we got to be safe. Got to have your goggles. If you got long hair, you got to have it up. And then I have got our very own firefighter porter here. Thanks, miss. Hey, who do you want to give a shout out to? I'd like to give a big shout out to my parents for always being supportive of me. So thanks, mom and dad, that and my awesome. little brother, Hayden. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome, Porter. Okay, so what's your job today? Uh, today I'm here to make sure my friends don't burn from the fire. Yes, that's very important. And what is? where do you point the fire extinguisher? Uh, at the bottom of the flames, miss. At the base of the flames. Thanks for being our firefighter, you, Porter. Again, take a look at this. This is, this is forming right now. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around to these wonderful sixth graders and we're gonna do our first step of this experiment, which is to, who's the first step? Everybody, you can join in on this first step. Pour the 300 millimeters of sand into the beaker. Okay? Beaker goes in the tray. And while they're doing that, you can see a carbon snake is starting to form as the sugar is burning. It turns into, it has gases in there that allow the snake to rise and it turns black from the carbon in the sugar. Okay, now pour that sand into your pie tin, guys. Pour that sand into your pie tin, right? And then whoever's job it is, make a divot into the sand. Make a divot into the sand. Okay. Yeah, move it down like that. There you go. And make a divot into the sand like that. So you see how you make a mound and then a divot. Okay. And then the next part, an adult needs to be here. An adult is going to pour 50 milliliters of lighter fluid into that divot. Into that divot. So the lighter fluid is obviously the thing that catches on fire. Now, earlier we made a hypothesis. What of the materials that we use is not going to be chemically changed? The sand. The sand. The, sand. the fire does not chemically change the sand. OK, next up, into another container, you're going to pour four teaspoons of powdered sugar. So measure out four teaspoons of powdered sugar. Yep, one, one two, 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 three, three, four. So the sugar. Who was, who was it earlier that knew what the composition of sugar was? Oliver. What is the chemical formula of sugar? Uh, carbon is 12, hydrogen is 22, and oxygen is 11. Awesome. That is great. Good job. OK, now we are going to take one teaspoon of uh, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and mix it with the powdered sugar. Yep, mix these things together, mix them together. Okay, and then pour the sugar onto the mound with the lighter fluid. Okay, and then the adults, adult supervision will light the lighter fluid on fire. And we'll turn off the lights and adults. OK, now observe what happens. Observe what happens. What are you seeing happening? Um, I'm seeing it form the black carbon that um, makes the snake. Right, now is that a physical reaction or a chemical reaction? A chemical, chemical reaction. Chemical reaction, that's right. Who wants to say what the chemical reaction is? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Grace. Grace. The chemical reaction is when the so, uh, when the baking soda and the sugar decompose, and the uh, baking soda creates air bubbles, yes. which uh, make the snake uh, make come become hollow, and the carbon is also what makes it black. That's awesome, and it's rising. That is so cool. Okay. All right, what do you guys think about this? What What are you noticing that's happening? Anybody want to share? Uh, I will. Um, Go for it. I'm noticing that the carbon snake is starting to form. Yeah, it, it's starting to get longer, right? Is anything surprising, you guys, that's happening right here as we're observing this? Uh, the flames are rising as the carbon snake forms. Oh, right, like the fire's not going out, right? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. OK, what are you noticing? Uh, the lighter fluid is going to go out after it's all done. That's right. That's right. Awesome. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and check on this carbon snake here. I'm gonna turn on the lights real quick so they can see. This is the one that we made earlier. Do you guys see how long it is? I'm gonna be very oh, careful wow. here. Do you guys see how long that's gotten? Ooh. This is crazy. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. So, was this a fun experiment, guys? Yes. So it's been about five minutes. How long will this probably take? Probably another. Probably another five minutes. And now the important thing to know is at the end of this experiment, you have to make sure the fire is completely extinguished before you handle it. If you have leftover sand, you can go ahead and uh, pour that on there to get the fire off. And then one last thing we'll talk about is that this is what it looks like. It's so light and it is completely chemically changed. So I want to thank these awesome sixth graders. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. And for more awesome science with Sarah experiments, you can go to ksat.com. Y'all wave to your mom and dad. Good job, guys. <laughs> Yeah. That was awesome. Sixth graders from STEM Academy, uh, they answered all of Sarah's questions. Mm -hmm.